Hey YouTube, thanks for watching my video on lightweight, light budget, dual sport camping. Video number six in the series, Shelter Skelter. So I have been going back and forth on shelter. But hey, first my disclaimer, I'm no vlogger. I don't edit videos. It's one take only take. It's me and an old iPhone recording this. Uh, I appreciate vloggers, but not me video production here low but I'm gonna tell you what I've been going through for sheltering so uh, I think my long-term thing is I want to I want to tarp lean to off my moto so I've been looking at that and I really like Dyneema fabric for a tarp but holy smokes that's a originally a fabric that was used for sales super strong super lightweight ultralight backpackers are totally into it but wow expensive you can look at a, a dyneema tarp for 300 350 i mean a lot of money so i'm starting to look at other alternatives and i've started looking at buying it in bulk my it's mother's day may 12th today and my mom is a great seamstress i'm like hmm Maybe I could uh, get something and customize it specifically for my moto, lean to off of it. I think that sounds really good. But in the meantime, May 12th, it's getting close to camp, and there's a lot of campable stuff. And in fact, today I'm probably taking a, t a little run up uh, Trail 006. It starts at Whiting Campground, where I live in Utah. Uh, I, I'm lucky I have National Forest about 10, 12 miles from where I live. And other stuff like right out my back door so and that's why my moto's dirty a lot but uh yeah it's about time to go camping so i'm getting closer and i needed something now i have a a buddy who i ride with who's also an ultralight backpacker and he's been busting my chops about you don't need a tent get a get a hammock and i'll probably get a hammock but for my purposes and knowing I camp some places that hammocks are just not the thing. There are no trees. And so I started looking at lightweight tents. And man, can you spend a lot of money on a lightweight backpacking tent? So since light budget is a goal, I, I looked around, looked around, and I said, I, I usually start with, okay, what? I look at the nicest thing. <laughs> and say, what are the features on this thing that make it the nicest thing? So... Uh, good for the purpose intended intended and so I started looking at the characteristics of the a tent that I would want so one I want two person uh, I always think one person tents are a bit cramped especially if you want to throw gear in there and that type of thing and so I'm going two person you get more room for not a lot more weight you know a foot and a half uh, two feet more material Anyway, so two person, full rain, vented rain fly, hopefully three season, um, free standing. I don't want anything that I have to stake to get it to work. There's sometimes I'm camping on slab on, on slick rock. There's nothing. You can't stake anything down. So free standing, two poles, all hooks, no, no fabric sliders. Those are horrible. All hooks, two doors, two vestibules, vestibules, tub bottom, good zippers. And that's about it. So as I go through that list, I'm climbing down on the brands, trying to get it down. Like I was looking at uh, one of my favorite brands is Mountain Hardware. They do good stuff. That A tent like that that I just described, it's 200 and over two hundred dollars maybe 250 and uh, other brands pretty awesome but man so I'm looking 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 and I run across this Chinese tent on Amazon that basically checks all my check marks off I can't find a review on it anywhere I'm like what the heck is no one using this tent well I finally found a video review of it and I'll put that in the description. It's kind of a funny review. Uh, well, one is the description's off, and the person re reviewing it is pointing to a tent that he isn't even reviewing on Amazon. And um, 
but after watching that review several times and seeing the vestibule size and the double doors and uh, this person's daughter tested it out in the backyard rained no leakage he talks highly of the quality I was like all right and uh, the asking price on Amazon $75 well so I'm like huh that looks interesting I just might bite the bullet and for 75 bucks you know how can I go wrong well I'm also a person that looks in the used market and I was been looking at used lightweight tents um, and found a couple still up you know and usually people that have dumped uh, tents and have gone with a tarp and a hammock but uh, so I'm looking at this tent Chinese tent really going back and forth and and my Facebook market feed up it pops I'm like hey that's a tent that I'm looking at person is asking 35 bucks for it so I offered 25 and BAM I got I have a tent for $25 so that really makes me feel good about hey how can I go wrong I use it for one season and then need to get rid of it no big deal so hold on let me show it to you all right there it is the he wolf I love the brand he wolf the he wolf tent two person uh you know and most lightweight backpackers ultra light people if they're if they're doing a tent they want three pounds or less and again that's hundreds of dollars more and and a lot more than this 25 dollar job but this tent weighs uh two point what is it 2.4 kilograms yes five pounds 5.2 pounds Light, lightweight enough for me for 25 bucks so um, I've actually haven't taken it out and set it up yet uh, but like I said I will put the link in the description that shows the review and so you can get a real good look at it now here's if you're interested in this tent I guess the downside is I just looked on Amazon and it's uh, this one is no longer available but it'll probably come available again so I'm the he wolf the he wolf tent uh, again you can take a look at that uh, video review and get a good look at it but 25 bucks certainly light budget 5.2 pounds pretty lightweight especially for the moto will fit great on the back of the bike I'll probably have it just like that maybe maybe go this way I don't know we'll see um but pretty happy i got some for 25 bucks and again i'm i look for deals i could go buy whatever but that's not how i roll so that is it for video number six um and i have like i said we're getting close may 12th so i have some other things i might shoot a couple another at least one more video today and get it up so that's it thanks for watching my video Ask me any questions. I'm always happy to answer. One take, only take here. Sorry if I uh, misspoke. And that is it. And as always, ride safe, everybody.